Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Black Power, the podcast. My name's Ify Thomas. I am a woman of God. I am a mother of two. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and the founder of The Confidence Star, which is a mental health tool to help prevent and reduce depression and anxiety. Today, I am sharing with you one of my most favourite people in the whole wide world. It's Black History Month and who better can I share their inspiration than Miss Oprah Winfrey. Yes, I am a huge fan. I think I've listened to every single video she's ever put up. I have clicked the bell on her own YouTube channel so that whenever she releases a video, I am there listening because it's going to inspire me. So what I'm going to share with you today, I want you to listen out and take some nuggets. One of the nuggets that I took is where she talks about creating a gratitude diary. Now, when I heard that for the first time, I thought, right, pause it, get one. I'm one of these people who take action straight away. I think that's partly because I am impatient, but also it's because I learned very early on in my personal development stages that if you hear something good, Take action immediately, because if you don't, you might forget and then never take action. So a gratitude journal is something that was suggested. So I did it and it has been so beneficial to my life. She says that you are grateful for what you have. You will have more. And if you focus on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. Whew, that's powerful. Very powerful. Let me introduce to you Miss Oprah Winfrey. Here we go. I've learned to appreciate living in the moment, and I ask that you do too. I've asked all of my viewers in America and across the world to do this one thing. Keep a grateful journal. Every night, list five things that happened this day, in days to come, that you are grateful for. What it will begin to do is to change your perspective of your day and your life. I believe that if you can learn to focus on what you have, you will always see that the universe is abundant and you will have more. If you concentrate and focus in your life on what you don't have, you will never have enough. Be grateful, keep a journal. That your real work is to figure out where your power base is and to work on the alignment of your personality, your gifts that you have to give with the real reason why you're here. That's that's the number one thing you have to do is to work on yourself and to fill yourself up and keep your cup full, keep yourself full. Now I used to be afraid of that I used to be afraid, particularly from people who say, oh, she's she's so full of herself. Mm." I embrace it. I I, I consider it a compliment that I am full of myself. Because you only when you're full, I'm full, I'm overflowing. My cup runneth over. I have so much, I have so much to offer and so much to give. And I am not afraid of honoring myself. You know, it's miraculous when you think about it. You become what you believe. When I was a little girl, Mississippi, growing up on the farm, watching my grandmother boil clothes in a big iron pot through the screen door because we didn't have a washing machine and made everything we had. I watched her and realized somehow inside myself and the spirit of myself that although this was segregated Mississippi and I was colored and female, that my life could be bigger, greater than what I saw. I remember being four or five years old, I certainly couldn't articulate it, but it was a feeling, and a feeling that I allowed myself to follow. I allowed myself to follow because if you were to ask me what is the secret to my success, it is because I understand that there is a power greater than myself that rules my life. And in life, in life, If you can be still long enough in in all of your endeavors, the good times, the hard times, to connect yourself to the source, I call it God, you can call it whatever you want, to the force, nature, Allah, 
the power, if you can connect yourself to the source and allow the energy that it is your personality, your life force to be connected to the greater force, anything is possible for you. I am proof of that. I think that my life, the fact that I was born where I was born and the time that I was and have been able to do what I've done speaks to the possibility, not that I am special, but that it could be done. Recognizing that I had the instinct, that the inner voice that told me that you need to try to find a way to answer to your own truth was the voice I needed to be still and listen to. Get this, this is just remember this because this will happen many times in your life. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Live your life from truth and you will survive everything. Everything. I believe even death. So you've been listening to Miss Oprah Winfrey and wow, did you take away a nugget? Because I certainly did. Goosebumps. Goosebumps on your goosebumps, and I look forward to seeing you then. Black Power the podcast. I'm Ify Thomas. I hope that inspired you. Have a blessed evening.